Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. I'm in the middle of trying to find a magic keyboard for my iPad. The one that lets it float. I don't know if you guys have seen that bad boy. And uh, we're going to do a traditional Smice Moria draft. We're going to see how that goes. We just three out our previous one, so. You might say we're pretty good at this game. But you might not, too. So, really, it's up to you. Yeah, you must have technological superpowers, because I've never even heard of RC Willy. Wily. <laughs> but you were able to just rattle that bad boy off. Do furniture stores have, like, iPad keyboards? Because even Amazon is out of stock. Amazon's been out of stock for, like, weeks, and I keep resetting. Oh, price blink. Interesting. I've never heard of this price blink. Affinity, is there an easy way to tell without being super inconvenient? Uh, if any other clo any other place closer, like to northern Utah has it? If that's not an easy function, don't worry about it. I'm not trying to be difficult. Oh yeah, I'm right here and I'm right here. I'm passing to myself eventually. What is this thing? Cupboard? I don't... Oh, ooh, this might be a good one. Three, five... Whenever mutates, make two one ones with lifelink. Oh, that seems great. I'm game for that. Momentum Rumbler's decent. No good black removal. No good green. Yeah, this card's the, the pick, dude. Oh, just when I think I'm out, they pull me back in. Like, this is one of the best ones in Limited, right? Because most of your cards have different names anyway. Wow. Yeah, we're definitely taking your ultimatum. This is an easy start. That pack wasn't even that good. Whirlwind of Thought. Pacifism is probably the best card that is still white. It just pops on most power screens, drawing other sites that have it. Interesting. Because I have Wikibuy, um, where I can, like, click on it, and it'll show me, like, better deals, right? Better prices. <sighs> Day Squad Marshall is okay. I wish it made a non-human, though, because then you'd be able to mutate. It gives you a creature to mutate onto. I think it's just dead weight here. I think it's probably better than Day Squad Marshall. I don't... I haven't been super impressed with Deadweight, but I think it's just still decent removal. But also, yeah, we can kill a guy and we can get the Deadweight back for sure. Swallow Hole is nice. Again, this is actually very good removal. Uh, checkpoint officer. Actually, let's take Blossoming Sands. I think Blossoming Sands is probably stronger than all the cards in this pack. Especially when we got this Ereal Ultimatum going.
Anyone know the name of the deck with Aphenia the Kaka? I have no idea. I haven't even seen that deck. Blade Banish is nice. Sonorous Halbonder is alright, but I don't know if we want a double black card just yet. He says after he took a triple black card. <laughs> I mean, let's be honest. The upside on this is very, very high. Also, we have four removal spells, which is pretty decent. Also, if you just cast this as a man, it's a 3-5 with lifelink. Divine Arrow? Are we just going to take all the removal? Sure. I think I'm leaning towards in-store pickup. Please make a twitch emote from this pick. <laughs> oh, that's actually not bad. That's not bad. Yeah, basically, we don't have any win conditions, so we just kind of hope that they concede. Let's depart at, let's say we leave at like 1 p.m. I don't know why it's going to make a difference. I don't think it will. Because it says an hour now. I just want to make sure like during like 3 p.m. it's not like four hours. Yeah, all right, about 55 minutes. And it's the Riverdale store, right? Hmm. <laughs> um. I think it's just Patagia Tiger. Patagia. Patagia. Corpse turn is actually decent. It puts cards in the grave for your ultimate, and it does get back. Like when you have bomb creatures, it's pretty good. fully grown how many creatures do we have right now two creatures huh i don't think these are worth taking so oh day squad marshall's nice that's a nice pickup all right so it looks like i'm ordering it to pick up between 11 and 7 that guy's playable on Thursday? <gasps> Brokos? I think Brokos is actually worth it, especially if we're green. We're only splashing, and we're splashing for the black. Oh, wow, that's actually great. We can just mutate this guy. Yeah, the mutate cost is actually black, green, green, so... That's fantastic. I like Pacifism, I also like Glowstone Recluse, and I like Scoured Barons. I think we need creatures, though. So I'm going to take the Recluse.
Na, 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 na. God, all Frank does is draft Abzan mutate decks and Ikoria. I mean, I'm definitely drifting. I definitely drift towards those. I like Exuberant Wolf Bear a lot. And it's also a wolf. And by a wolf, I mean it's 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 something we can mutate onto if we really want to. Guys, so I just put this order in? Do I just do it? I think we do it. Horse Crasher. That guy's so good, but like he's not reasonably played, right? Well, I want to make. I, I just want to use my iPad as more of a laptop. I don't. I don't have a laptop that I really like right now. So I love my. I love. I love my iPad. I love iPads as, as technology. And so I kind of just want to use my iPad as a laptop, and I think the keyboard will go a long way in helping me get productive on there. Could just be Garrison Cat. I'm just taking this. No one else deserves this. The problem with cutting black is that we lose Eerie Ultimatum and Brokos, and, like, we have no benefit to running Bant, right? Like, like there were no Bant cards that were better than the cards we have. Greater Sandworm seems great here. Like, if anything, I'd be like Naya because of the, uh... Because of the Quartz Crasher, but, like, there were no blue cards that really... I mean, our only blue card is Brokos, which is not Bant, right? So... Uh, Parcel Beast kind of meh. I, I don't think Parcel Beast is that great. I do like a small little essence symbiote. How much is this guy to four? Yeah, that makes sense. It's very good. I like symbiote better than durable coil bug, I think. All right, we ordered it. I pick it up 11 a.m. to 7 p.m. on the 14th. Wild. This is actually not bad for Mutate, right? Like, it also makes... Huh. It's probably better than all our other options. The Crystal's not bad. Like, whatever casting this is a 2-2, right? We're just going to mutate it onto something. Three and me. Thank you so much, man. I really appreciate it. Um... Yeah, I think it's fine. Oh, Bristling Boar. I do like a Bristling Boar. We have a lot of four drops, right? One, two, three, four. This is number five. Eh, it's still good. Scour Barons? Oh, yeah. That's what we're talking about. All right. Scoured Barons again. Yeah, boot nipper is fine. Regal Leosaur, you can get out of here. You can get out of here. 
over here too. Oh my god. Jeez. Again? Again with the Eerie Ultimatum Garuda deck? Jeez. Good gravy. Also Grim Dancer. I think it's just Garuda, right? Like, it's just the 6-6 six, six for 6 and gets free things. Yeah, it's just Garuda. That's wild. Oh, too bad. Too bad. It's a double land. It's not terrible. I do like Fight as one a lot. It's a pretty good trick. I don't care about Dranath Healer here. Uh, Corpse Strand's decent. Three of these are lands, so actually we have three picks left. I think it's just Fight is one. Oh, Migration Path is actually great. Yeah, I that's actually real good. I agree with that. Farfinder could have been good too. I'm just taking the mythic here like the the white card's not great boot nipper's fine but we already have one i don't think we really need two the land doesn't do anything for us i'll just take the mythic i'm pretty sure i have four of those but mm. horn bash mentor and jungle hollow is nice i do like four of our dual lands making black where did hydration bot go that's a good question we don't have many three drops. In fact, we only have these two. I think it's actually just Jungle Hollow here. Well, that's not the good land. Oh, Humble Naturalist seems great. It lets us cast Brokos and uh, Garuda. Yeah, that seems real good. This pack, eh, not so much. I think I'll just take Unexpected Fangs. Another Greater Sandworm. Another Day Squad Marshal. Honey Mammoth is actually just fine. Why does the why does the egg make such a noise? These cards are exciting. This is actually our deck. We have four fixing lands, so 27, which is actually perfect. Um, Yeah, we could run Tranquil Cove. It just lets us hard cast Brokos. Same thing with this, I guess. I just don't know if we want five, six, six lands to come into play tapped. Notice in the past two drafts, we've not seen any migratory great horns. So I'm pretty sure that is uh, deliberate. I do like Corpse Strength because we have a lot of hits. We have Bio Quartz, Bio Quartz, Space Godzilla, Greater Sandworm, Gigan, uh, the Sweet Cub Warden. This deck seems good. I would have liked a blood curdle, but Dana, talk to you. Have a good night, buddy. Hmm. 
Hmm. I mean, this is four, five, six, seven black, three, four, five, six white. Interesting. Oh, two islands. They're sticking two islands in here for this. Yeah, that's got to go. Let's add another planes. So this is four, five, six, seven. Black, we have four, five, six, seven. Green, we have four, five, six. This is seven, seven, seven. I kind of like that. Plus, we do have a migration path for some fixing. I think, yeah, I think this deck is sweet. What are our thoughts on historic, the format for arena, the arena format? I think they're trying... It's too hard to keep up with all these formats, I think, is really the, the lesson, <laughs> right? Like, I mean, you can't keep up with Pioneer, Modern, Standard, Historic. Like, it's just too hard to keep metagame straight and, like, things like that. It's really weird that they announced Historic and they made Pioneer right afterwards. Because it was like, uh, aren't you stepping on your own toes? But. Can I? Okay, so, like, the channel point thing, do I? Can I make things to use them on? Because I didn't know that. Listen to this guy. <laughs> Borocos. I'm tempted to cycle this just because I want to hit a land next turn, but if we do hit a land next turn, then we get to hit two more lands. So it's kind of like, I have over 100k feeling rich on channel points. God dang. Yeah, because we don't have anything else to do anyway besides this, right? So I guess we could have had that. I guess we could have played Wolf Bear. What's migration path? I think it's less, uh... Ooh, it seemed like they... So we have, what, one black... Two black sources, two green sources, and a white... Two white sources. Let's definitely get a black. And green, white, green, white. Oh, actually, Brokos needs... So we get a... Yeah, we'll get that, because Brokos needs double green anyway, so... <laughs> Eat a dog treat? Good gravy. Let's put him on top. You got trample? Thank goodness. Good for you, Brokos. I mean, they, they have the tapper, but they're going to have to spend two mana a turn, and they're pretty mana uh, light right now. So, not too concerned with that. For 20,000 use dog treat, that's hilarious because then like Mark can make me five dog treats. Good lord. Tap him down. And we're gonna give this that death touch. got it Ok, 
Okay. Fascinating. How many spammers? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, dang. Honey Mammoth means not putting another... I guess we could play like Glowstone Recluse. Yeah, alright. Honey Mammoth seems fine. That's not bad. Now we can swallow this guy whole. So if you block here, you take four and go to three. Huh. Alright, well, we didn't really see anything frightening. Look at us rare drafting. We got a Brokos, an Eerie Ultimatum, a Gigan, a Quartzwood Crasher, and a, and a Riel. Oh, and a Cub Warden. Alright, it's fine. Yeah, Brokos is no Jokos. Playing against Steeplechaser. Whatever that means. You can feel it all over. Oh, uh, actually fine with this. We can I'm sure we can hit a green. I guarantee it. Oh, we did it. I've only seen one person ever give this first strike and it was me, accidentally. I guess that's good. I mean, we're gonna get in if they choose to block, then they take it, so. 
or you know, then they then the guy dies. So. You can feel it all over. Oh, we have not streamed with Elk Tears and Dan's yet. No. I accept. I think I'd rather have the 4-3 here than the 3-3. Three, three. That's fascinating. Sure. I mean, if that's what you're going to kill, like... Migratory great horn onto your glimmer bell. Yep, now I feel good about making the 4-4. Four, 4-3, four, four, because now we can just trade if they don't tap my guy. I'm sure they will tap my guy. So we have four cards. One is a go Like, our hand is just stacked and they have nothing on board. And we whiff, but we get a Brokos in the yard, which is kind of cool. We do need a second green source. And we hit Ear Ultimatum? Wow, super cool. Super cool. Second green would be nice for all of these cards. Nope, that ain't it. We still have to race this idiot. Actually, no, we don't. Oh, they're just not going to do anything. <laughs> well, that was weird. Sure. Come on, green source. Guy rude. Uh... Am I right? Yes. No? Ate ya. Humble Naturalist actually lets us do all the things. So that's pretty good. Here's the story of a lovely Brokos. It was a Biospace, Biocourt Space Godzilla man. Yeah, that doesn't really do much. Just like his mother. I need a green. No, yeah, I can get a Honey Mammoth. Deadweight's actually pretty decent. That's not terrible. One, two, three, four, five, six, six. So we can actually play everything here. One, two, three. Oh, we should have attacked the one one. I'm so bad. I'm so bad. I'm so bad. Yep. Got a four here. I'm going to assume you're not going to be able to top deck something that deals an extra two damage. No two damage. Don't make me look stupid. 
Don't do it. We are 4-0 in games tonight, my dudes. And by games, I mean matches, my dudes. It is matches, my dudes. We did got him. You ain't kidding. Oh, a shine chaser. Your ultimate is a hell of a card. Even though we didn't play it. Oh yeah, we'll keep this. Buddy. You don't even know. I'll play all the cards. <laughs> God, there's so many so many people are playing this card against me, man. It's wild. Friendship. Friendship. Cubboard next turn seems all right. Just cast him as a man. Oh, they're missing like m million land drops. That seems good. Actually, do we play first? If so, they're missing no land drops. I can't tell. Oh, that's exciting. Get in there. Back up to 21. <laughs> Cast him as a man. Oh yeah, cycle that dude. Give one of your gentlemen first strike. You got it. Oh, there you go. You got that second color. Oh, brush wag me. Mm, pass. I guess we're doing nothing here. That's okay. Ooh, we rickles. Let's play Gigan Terror. Cyberclaw Terror. You know what I'm saying. Oh, we get a Honey Mammoth? Yeah, 12 power seems good. This is a totally fair and reasonable card. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't care what you're doing on turn turn 5. It's not going to be better than my my board. And we got Divine Hour and Fully Grown in hand. It's pretty good. Yep. That's cute. Well, that's alright. That's what's known as lethal. You are my honey mammoth. That's all I could ask for, buddy. That's all I've ever wanted. Oh, a Sentinel's Mark. Ooh. The back corner of the green screen? Oh, over here? Yeah, I guess. Hold on. Oh, God, hit my head. Oh, we're coming back. Okay. So 
that a little better? Eh, that's good enough, right? Let's put this bag in the way. Um, yeah, again, I'll keep this. Being able to go just get two, two swamps with this guy is pretty good. I don't know. What? Now you start with a swamp? What's even happening right now? Wait, was this... Wait, is this, is this round three? Did our last round opponent just concede the whole match? What's, did we win two games? What's even happening right now? Did I black out? have for black mana I don't know I don't know what you could have but I guess it's my you can't have dead eye assassin okay sure you just wanted to attack sure I accept Oh, is there... What? The mic arm's all the way up here. Oh, I see what you're saying. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. Sorry, guys. I thought you meant the down here. Oh, yeah, alright. We got it. Black, red. Yeah, that guy's cute. I mean, they can double block here, and I'm... Recursion you control the menace becomes blocked. If any player sacrifices you're blocking it, sure. Okay. So next time we can play both of these. I miss Mike Arm. He was nice. Oh boy. fucking guy. So, everything... Yeah, this is fine. Yep. Just taking... Seven? Let's get two swamps. I have two cards in hand. I'm assuming one's a blood kernel or a ram through. I think it's a ram through. Yep, they're definitely like choosing this guy and this guy maybe. I mean, I can't block either of these guys, so.
Well, that's pretty interesting. I mean, this 3-4 flyer is lethal, so... The last two cards in their hands gotta do something. The fool removed the bounty count! It's true. be the game all right none of these cards are exciting i think we're i think we're in good shape i don't know i think our deck looks sweet Thanks for my background noise as it worked on my overly complicated family tree for my elf duelist that I start playing in my friend's new campaign tomorrow. Alas, it is time to sleep. Courageous Kitty, stay safe, buddy, and uh, enjoy your new campaign. I'll keep and I'll ship old Honey Mammy. That's my Honey Mammy. This deck is undefeated. It's true. We got big fat 4-4. Four, four. Unfortunately, I would love to draw a human next turn that we can cast. What humans do we have? Because then it's going to get buffed by this and it's going to get buffed by this. Well, that's not what we're looking for. Being able to kill this guy feels real good, though. Sure. Really? That's wild. Pretty good. Well, that dude's dead, so that's good. They did murder the Chonky boy. Oh good, and they just get him back with Corpse Churn. How oh, nice.
Play Bash might be sideboard outable here. So this guy does have double strike? Well, that's unfortunate. Um, I think this might be a real lose game, boys. Oh, that's good. Oh, we're going to pacify that guy next turn and chump block it this turn, so. You got rid of Grim Dancer? Jesus. Why would you do that? Well, that was funny, because that actually worked out quite well. Alright, well, no cards in hand. <sighs> Jesus Christ. Oh, <laughs> we're so close, dude. Oh, man. Yeah, I think I'm just going to double block here because I really don't want that guy to get through. Because then we definitely lose the game. Yep. Feels good. Must be nice. Draw a card, gain three, make a one one. Yep, fucking amazing. All right. Yep. Yeah, nothing else is really great though. Like, was it still planning on having the pre-release on the fifteenth? I can't imagine. No, no, I don't think so. I don't think any stores are going to be open for events, and it, I think it's actually illegal to have events in your stores currently. Um, yeah, whatever. We'll give it a shot. If we can hit land, land, that's great. It's real good. One down. Pretty good. Alright, so 4-4 four, four or 3-5 with lifelink coming down first. What's it gonna be? Sure. Let's play this guy because we can actually mutate. Is it better to mutate? Is it better to have 1-3-5 with lifelink or two one ones? And a 4-4 four, four with lifelink. I don't know. They have no green sources, which is kind of nice. Of course, we're one mana shy of doing two things this turn. It's 
rough. Yeah, being able to keep up Divine Air here and prevent six damage is pretty good, but... And then we could also just play Honey Mammoth the next turn if that land was a green. But instead, we're going to take eight. No, we're not. We're going to take... Okay, that's better. Five is better than eight, for sure. Mm-hmm. We're passing here. I feel like this is okay for us. And now we have three lethal creatures on board. Alright, I think we might have this. Oh, now we only have two lethal creatures? Oh, no, we still got this bad boy! Oh, three! Oh, my dudes. 3-0, back-to-back 3-0s with Abzan twice. Feels good. Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out on twitch.tv slash franklapore, patreon.com slash franklapore, coolstuffinc.com. We're going to open these packs too, so don't go anywhere yet. And manatraders.com. They have an awesome subscription service which you can use on Magic Online to run Pioneer decks, modern decks, vintage decks, legacy decks, standard decks, whatever you guys want to play. If you get... If you use the link and promo code down in the description, I don't even know what this card is. This is the first time I've seen this card outside of like the set review. That's interesting. You get 20% off your first three months of any subscription with the link and promo code down below is what I was getting at. So definitely do that. And uh, be sure to like and subscribe. Like and subscribe, guys, whether you're on Twitch or YouTube. It's all helpful. And I appreciate it. All right, last card. Come on, be a mythic. Okay, that's fine. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time.